Well, hello, travelers. Todd and Michelle here. We're traveling around Disney, and we have made our way over to Disney's Vacation Club, a Polynesian. Is that Pongo Pongo behind me? What's that say? Pago Pago. Pago Pago building for our Vacation Club stay that was actually provided to us by our beautiful daughter and <laughs> her lovely husband. So they are, I guess we're hosted. Are we, this is our, like, our first hosted, we're being, actually, yeah, it, was it was a was Christmas, Christmas gift. <laughs> we're going to say we're hosted. You sound all popular. But so, thank you, Beck and Mike. Yes, thank you guys so much. So let's, let's go see what the Polynesian has to offer us. It's been 17 years since we've stayed at this resort. So come wow. along, and let's see what the Polynesian and their DVC rooms have to offer us today. <laughs> checked in Michelle did do mobile check-in on the app but I told her hey we can go to the Pago Pago building because they do check-in right over here they no longer do the check-in over here so Todd was wrong today already <laughs> so now we got to go walk back over to the great ceremonial house and see if there's a room ready for us so as you can tell right here this is for Polynesian guests only you can use your magic band or your um, card resort card that they, you get at check-in or you can use your mobile app to get in and this is their pool area it is an absolutely gorgeous day today great pool day but they have little cabanas right across as you can see that you can get and they have a quick service here right over this section this is more of their quiet pool we're at a location which does it have a name it's called sunset point sunset point it is a quiet area it has two seated benches and a couple of trash cans but the view is amazing you can see you're like tucked in the middle of the bungalows and you can see the grand floridian and the castle and the space mountain in the background but this is a nice place to go get something quick to eat bring it back up here sit and relax and enjoy your snack lunch or whatever you choose to get um, great little tip is that a tad tip? That's a tad tip. That's a tad tip. <laughs> Travelers, since we are here today for our overnight DVC stay, we decided we're going to go ahead and hit the seven quick services, but not the two sit down restaurants because we've already done those, but we're going to hit the seven quick services to take care of the Polynesian on our Disney dining quest. So come along and let's see what all these quick services have to offer us. And here are the food options here at the Polynesian. Some great selections. Probably one of our favorite quick service locations. So on our first stop, this is the Barefoot Pool Bar. It is by the Lava Pool. They do have a pool entry side and they have a guest entry side over here. They are not yet open, but they do open here in a little bit at 11 o'clock. Okay, back at the Barefoot Pool Bar. And we're gonna get us a little something. Let's go with the lava, because the pineapple might be. Oh yeah, I forgot. Well, it still has pineapple in it. It's okay, just a little bit. So we're going with the lava smoothie. Oh, that is good. Um, it's actually a um, pina colada base with a raspberry puree on the bottom. Non-alcoholic. This is so cute. They have a little baby chessboard right over here in the activity center by the lava pool. Just remember, you can also walk from the Polynesian, head straight down this pathway, and it'll actually take you to the Grand Floridian and the Magic Kingdom. Number two is Trader Sam's, located just off the lobby of the Polynesian. And just remember, before eight, all ages welcome. After eight, it's 21 and older. Okay, so this was stop number three, which was Captain Cook's. And we got a little specialty treat for later on that we will show you. And now we're on to location number four. One of the worst sights a cotton candy lover can see. Right there. Somebody lost their cotton candy. Okay, so this is our building right here and you can actually come right out of the building 
and this is the pathway to the monorails and to the ferry boats so you can get to Epcot this way and to the Magic Kingdom this way and this is our building it will have a lake view I believe we're on the second floor never stayed in this building before here we go right over to the right there's a mirror and then as you enter this is the restroom hello everyone bathtub of course beautiful artwork so remember in these rooms the tub and the toiletries are in here and then they have a second oh that's into the room second restroom that has yet another shower and a sink to prepare so that's very nice for these rooms then you come over this way microwave coffee with the Joffrey's 50th cannot wait refrigerator and then into the room TV on the wall of course comes with a queen bed and then a pull down bed right here but this is a refurbished room this isn't the old DVC rooms this is a refurbished room and like anything else you just come over here pull the handle come on down and there is that bed with its artwork and all that good stuff more great artwork on that wall that is the balcony which we do have a little balcony and there is the lamp that everybody wants from the Polynesian so check a look at this nice little seating area the bungalows right there and right there great fireworks view it's like a perfect room yeah oh, look at that built in alarm clock <laughs> yeah that i'm sure it's seven o'clock i get like now remember i it. cannot wait for the fireworks me neither it's gonna be great now remember at the polynesian they only have the bungalows which are right out here which you can come take a tour of this bungalow at any time and they have the studios what we're staying in they do not have one or two bedroom um, rooms here so I was gonna say suites but they're rooms but there's Space Mountain and you can see Tron right there and of course the castle it is gonna be nice fireworks tonight oh thank so you thank we need, you thank Rebecca you and Mike. yes that was so sweet. we are so excited for this day Two things we did forget to show you is the storage in the big chest right here. And this does sleep five, two in this bed, two in this bed. And then right over here in this little pull down bed right here. Look at that. Oh, that is so cute. With Lilo and Stitch in the back. So don't forget about this little bed. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you're professional travels, travelers <laughs> like us, you always bring your fan because there are no ceiling, oh, fans, no ceiling fans in here. So we always need the white noise. So we always bring a fan when we travel. Loving the new carpet and soft redo of the vacation club here at the Polynesian. And love these guys right on the wall. Okay, so we had a quick costume change. <laughs> actually, except, me. except Michelle, because actually Becca got me this shirt for um, Trader Sam's. And we just got our call to return to Trader Sam's. We actually put our name on the list at 3 o'clock this afternoon. What time is it right now? It is 5.20. Okay, 5.20. <laughs> so we're now heading back to... Trader Sam's and you text them that you're coming and you have 15 minutes to get there so we are like on that, our way that show the travel show what is it amazing race <laughs> amazing race we have 15 minutes to get back yeah so we are on our way to we Trader Sam's the way on the yeah we're over by the monorail station almost 
Okay, we have made our way into Trader Sam's right here. It's a small, quaint little place, and usually you have to share seating with tables and everything. So, but this is it right here. Okay, so this is the menu, as you can tell, and there's special drinks, of course, right there. Oh, we've got action going on at all the times. The Big Pearl, where the Pearl drink comes from. But these are most of the drinks that they do have. And they do little, little specials when they sell one of them, stuff like that. But it, it is a very small and tight location. It's always so tight in here to me. For me, it's uncomfortable because I don't drink. So. I like the patio better. You want to go out to the patio? Let's head out to the patio. We got to go back out the front door and go around the corner. Okay, so this is really the better the option of the Trader Sam's, in our opinion, because you got great outdoor seating. You got live entertainment over there with the waterfalls. Plenty more seating out here and not as noisy. So if it was me, Trader Sam's is nice to see, but the outdoor seating is so much better. These three drinks, non-alcoholics. Everything else on here, alcohol, alcohol, appetizer smoke right there. So this is Trader Sam's menu. Uh, Michelle went to, with the Schweitzer Falls, which is 5.50, with this tropical juices and Sam's Gorilla Grog topped with Sprite. And I went with the Skipper Sipper, which is tropical juices, organic agave, nectar, falerno, falerno, mint, and fresh lime juice topped with soda water. And that is also 550. And then for our appetizer here, because we have never eaten here before, we've actually got the Thai chicken flatbread with bacon and peanut sauce for $12. Drinks have arrived, and our flatbread's on the way. This is the Skipper Sipper and Michelle Schweitzer Falls. Schweitzer Falls. Cheers. Cheers. And let's give these a try. It looks like mine's got a lot of mint in it there. After well, when I was right there, I oh. was baked delicious. That is quite tasty. That is perfect. Lucky it made it out to the table. I was pretty hungry. <laughs> hey, can't blame you. So the flatbread has arrived right there. So smells good. Smell it. <laughs> so we cannot wait to give this a try. Now this is the flatbread that we got, which is Thai chicken flatbread with bacon and peanut sauce. So I'm sure it doesn't have the basic pizza sauce. It's got the peanut sauce there. You want to give that a try? Look at that. Ooh, that looks good. I'm not going to say anything until Michelle takes a bite. <laughs> I'm going to let her tell me what she thinks. Oh, wait, I can't get it apart. And we have no silverware. <laughs> We're barbarians at the table. There you go. I left half my piece. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that looks good. This is a mess. Nah, you'll be good. Okay. We'll oh try it together. <laughs> Because you lost by all your bottom. Your bottom's on the plate still. <laughs> all right, there we go. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Ready? Yes. Here we go. <laughs> mm. To me, you can taste the peanut sauce right off. As soon as you put it in your mouth, that peanut sauce comes straight through. But I don't know if the crust is. I know it's a pizza crust. But it is really good. It's flatbread. This is a really good flatbread. With our nice little non alcoholic drinks. Mm. Very good. So another notch off of our Disney Dining Quest. And this was a good one. This is a surprise. I love it when they use real mozzarella cheese. I know. Like the real stretch. I know, because that's good and it's stretchy and mm -hmm. chewy. 
it always, to me, it always has a good bite to it. It just doesn't dissolve in your mouth. It's, really it's got good. a great bite. So. I lost my tomato. I'm going to. You take that out. is your claim of fame over there. Nice chicken pieces on here. Can't complain about this. We are not getting here anything tonight because the line is going all the way back that way. But we will link the video down below of our visit here before. And they have some more stuff for their 50th. Remember, this is an original um, resort, and this is 50 years old. And look, they got the new the glasses back in, the chip bug. Oh, they even got their ears back in, right there. And I noticed something, they have their print here, but they have something I may have to get before we leave. If they have, no, they don't have my size. But this, this is their 50th shirt right here. But they don't have it in my size, only smalls and mediums. Okay, and here is location number five that you can get something to eat and some drinks. And that is Tambu Lounge right there. And at this moment, it is a little full, so we'll have to come back at a later date. But they only have four items of food. They got rid of the noodles here. They no longer have the Ohana noodles. Because right over here is Ohana's, which we have been to for dinner and for breakfast. And we will link those links down below. So this is a table service, which is Kona. By the way, we've eaten lunch and dinner here also, and breakfast. We'll link that down below also for Kona Cafe. On to number six for quick service at the Polynesian. And now we are at number six, Kona Island Coffee and Sushi right here. And we're going to get us some little treats right over here. They and also have a cupcake here. They have a cupcake here. Oh, they sure do. The seasonal cupcake. Okay, so as usual, here's the bacon. But I mean, come on, look at these strawberries. These look so good. Yeah, but look at the bacon, especially that one, right? That one right there. Okay, that's the one she's going with. So I can understand. She's a bacon girl. Wait, wait. What? Wait. What? What is that? That's a bacon strawberry. That is a bacon strawberry. Oh, we have to get one of those. We have to get one of those too. So. So this is Moana Mercantile, which is on the second floor. And this is more the toys, games, and kids gifts right over here. And then it leads right into the marketplace, which I think I need to go into marketplace right over here for a moment. And it comes right into the Mercantile because remember, this is a vacation club resort. So they have all the necessities you could use for your room. But it is a quite busy night here tonight at the Polynesian. And then here is their gold machine, gold coin machine, which is on the second floor. But this is their specialty coin for the Polynesian. And this is what they look like right down there. And they also still have their normal penny press right here. And now back to the main lobby area where you check in boutique across the way Maui in the center to greet you as you enter the resort and we're heading right out this way okay we have made it to our last location Oasis Grill and the trick about this one is you have to be staying on property because it's locked behind the gates of the pool area at the Polynesian luckily since we're staying here tonight we get to eat at the Oasis Grill so me and Michelle have made our way to the Oasis Bar and Grill area here at the Quiet Pool area. And um, we're actually going to get stuff to take it back to the room so we can watch the fireworks and the light parade tonight on the wall. So I have went with the Oasis salad with grilled chicken and that'll be $11.99. And that's with edamame, vegetables, crispy wontons, and citrus vinaigrette, which really sounds good. Michelle has gone with the black pepper parmesan chicken wings. Ooh, those sound good. 
that are $11.99. And that comes with fresh garden herb dressing. Sounds scrumptious. And then we're getting an order of the fried wontons, which are served with spicy duck sauce. And those are $4.49. And I think there's one more thing on here we're going to get. Where'd it go? Wait, are those wontons or wonton chips? Wonton chips, I believe. Yeah, right. I thought you just said wontons. No. Yeah, they're want fried wonton chips. But what's the other thing we were going to get? The donuts. Um, they have the, I think it's malasadas, Portuguese donuts served with passion fruit curd. Right. So we are going to get those, get that all ordered up so we can get it back to the room so we can watch our fireworks from our beautiful balcony. We have had an amendment to our ordering here at the Oasis Bar and Grill. Because I saw a parade of food come behind us, so it made me change my mind. Yeah, we got FOMO. Michelle got FOMO. The cheeseburger came out, and it looked absolutely wonderful. And it's an Angus Chuck Cheddar Cheeseburger with cheddar, lettuce, onions, tomatoes, and pickles, and that's $11.99. So she's going to go with that tonight instead of the wings. So... And can I add that it's really quiet right here. It is. Like we came from the hustle bustle up at the the house. Yeah. But this is like the TV's playing. It's quiet. The nice little lanterns laid are going. Back. The shimmer of the pool is pretty. Like yeah. I'm wondering if you can see the tops of the fireworks from here. Well, you like, might I'm be able to. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. We're not going to chance that. Room, no. So. It, this is a nice, like, little laid back place. Yeah. Definitely this relaxing. Is really nice. This is going to be harder for people that aren't staying on property because the gates are locked. Here. Right. So exactly. We decided, thank goodness, to go ahead and do it tonight, or we weren't going to be able to we do wouldn't this have been, request. We would have been while. an item short. We would have been a yeah. place short. We would have had to drag poor Michael back just to. <laughs> get him to let us get in <laughs> because he's a DVC member, so that would have helped us out. Yeah. Travelers, we made it back to the room just in time. It took it forever. Took forever <laughs> to get our food. We ran back to the room. Oh, we'll yeah. show you the food after the fireworks. I swear that was like amazing, right? Yeah. So, technically, these are the front, and we always always see the we back always see side the back of them. Of fireworks. Now we're gonna see the front side of fireworks. So that's what they look like from the front. Yeah, the castle's different colors. I know. Next time we'll have to go inside and watch them. <laughs> we've seen them from the back. We've seen them from the front, from a distance. Now we have to go into the park and watch them. And that is it. When you see the cascading fireworks at the very end, you know that is the end of the show. So we're sitting here in our room. Michelle over there with her hamburger. These little things are delicious. The little what? wonton chips with the sweet and sour. Are they? Sauce or whatever kind of sauce. Well, let me is. try one of these with you. Oh, yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. And we got a lot in that box, as you can tell. What's that sauce? Same. More? They sent two more of those. Oh my goodness. I'm going to give my salad a try while Michelle gets her burger ready. And these forks, Michelle brought me a better fork. The black ones in the room are much firmer than the ones you get from out there. And this salad actually has like a Asian vegetables all in it. But the chicken, yeah. Sorry about the lighting, by the way, on this, but that looks very good. 
And this came from Oasis. Mm. Right? Oasis. That's what it's Oasis um, Grill. I call it Oasis Bar and Grill because there's a bar there too. But this is very tasty, especially with the wonton strips on top and the peppers and all that in there. Nice little salad. And we got a little bit more to show tomorrow morning before we check out. But we, at this moment, are going to enjoy the rest of our dinner. I know it's a little blurry, but right there, guys, the water pageant. This is actually our view from the balcony, and we can actually see it from the table also that we're sitting at. But it'll go all the way around. Ferry boats wait to dock while the other ferry boat heads out. So far, dinner's really good. Michelle says the burger is great. And the salad is a ton of salad, and it is really, really good. And there they all go, heading to the cars. We hope they had a wonderful day at the Magic Kingdom. Okay, we have the offerings for Maui right here. <laughs> These are our desserts from tonight. And you've seen Michelle got the bacon and chocolate strawberry Look at my two favorite things i mind. know both Chocolate, of them strawberry and bacon and bacon how can you beat that i could not eat it tonight this I was so i know <laughs> this is the tropical bacon which has it's chocolate got caramel chocolate pineapple and, and coconut, coconut so right there rules me out pineapple i think she did it on purpose well, it's candy pineapple but you can take and i slice it and, the, and then you don't have you know you eat it like a little piece of candy <laughs> and then i got the seasonal cupcake that they're having right here and i think it's for their valentines right mm -hmm. so can't wait it's, to get this uh, i think it's called a love letter love letter it's got it's a chocolate cupcake mm -hmm. was a nutella cream yeah um, nutella cream know. and then the bouquet of buttercream roses with a little love letter right there we did get these for tonight, but after that dinner that we had, which was really good. It was. I was really good, and it was only $30 for everything. Yeah, that's amazing. It was a great deal. That hamburger was so good. Brought it back to the room. The salad was a ton. Those chips. Here, I've never had a hamburger that's that thick, and it actually, the hamburger part was bigger than the bun. Yeah. Like, it was so juicy. It was It so was good. good. It was so that was good. a great dinner to bring back mm -hmm. from the Oasis Bar and Grill. But we're going to save these for tomorrow, and we will see you guys tomorrow morning for checkout. Looks like they have all three ferry boats this morning running, which they normally do. Um, the third ferry boat usually runs till about 11 o'clock, and then they take it to dock, while the other two run constantly. But people are coming in. It was raining a little bit earlier this morning, but now it's over and the crowds are starting to ascend. Still can't get over our view right over there. We have found a flaw in this room. And it is this banister right here. <laughs> I am sitting in the chair at the room and all I get to see is the banister. I have to go way down here to look underneath the banister. Michelle just said the dreaded words, the dreaded word when you're staying on vacation with us. It's the okay. That means it's time to wrap this up and head out. One of our travelers actually asked if I could show the t-shirts I wear. Did you ever know that? So this is the one I'm wearing today. It is the Heroes and Villains shirt and this was the special event that they did at Hollywood Studios way back in the day. Me and my daughter went to it, Caitlin. Michelle decided not to go. It was probably the biggest event I've ever been to. There were more people than I've ever seen and it was at Hollywood Studios. So this is the shirt today. Bye bye view. Bye bye. Travelers, it is checkout day. We are heading home. Hello, Hello. back there. How are you doing? Yeah, nice. Travelers, it is checkout day. <laughs> and me and Michelle are sad to me actually. Or Michelle? Me and Michelle. Okay. I said 
we are heading to the car. It was a fantastic trip, and we want to thank Michael and Rebecca once again for this great stay. And actually, so we may have to do a couple other stays. So I like the DVC room. That was really nice. And go check out some other resorts. It's been a long time since we've been in a hotel room. So it was just a great time. We had no, an interesting... We <laughs> We ate all around the place. No, it hasn't been a great time. We ate at all of our it hasn't location. Been a great time? It has been a great time. Yeah, but you said it's been a long no. time. No, <laughs> it has been a long no, time. No, we just stayed at Boardwalk. Four months ago. I need to stay monthly. I need to get these monthly trips. But we did <laughs> have an interesting. In okay, <laughs> I would. I would live in a hotel room. But we did have an interesting night last night. I will just share with you guys. Oh yeah. Um, probably I about, discovered it. Yeah, Woke about 1 o'clock, we heard this booming sound. I was like, what the heck is that? Michelle gets up, and they're having a private party over at the Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. We actually opened the door, listened to the music. It went on to about 2.30 last night. Well, they, it stopped at 2 a.m. It stopped at 2, but it still sounded like it was going on to me. It was, it was like a big cheerleader group I found that had like an event there. Yeah. Like it's been publicized, so everybody knows. But yeah. it's like part of, um, I think it's called Varsity Spirits. But they have select nights where they do these parties. So last night was one of them. But they had a little bit of light show. They had just a tiny bit of fireworks, yeah. but lots of dance music. And it was, it was great. Cool. We loved it. We loved waking up in the middle of the night. a little bit of it in the, here. Oh, you did get some time? Awesome. Awesome. I just laid in the bed and listened to it while Michelle watched it. So and it was pretty the, neat. Um, the uh, ferry boats start yeah. promptly at... 7.45. You will hear that first whistle of the ferry boat. So just be ready to go. And in the morning, they bring out the extra one. So all three of them are going. Yep. So you pretty much have a horn every like five, ten minutes. Yep. So, <laughs> so don't plan on sleeping in. That is true. <laughs> we don't know where our next travels will be, but we are so glad you guys traveled along with us. And like we always say, until next time, travel and adventure is out there. Mm.